I guess it's Ziggs over Earth Elemental. That's why I wasn't I wasn't sure about Ziggs or Earth Elemental. The reason why I want to play Ziggs is the deal two damage for each one of these to their Nexus. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Malphite Ziggs. That's right, we're bringing Malphite back. Combining Malphite with Ziggs together. This looks like a, a really cool landmark deck thanks to Jack. He's the one that built this one. Um, and said he's been having a lot of fun with it and Ziggs has been doing really well for him. See, we're going to be, a, you know, a landmark deck that's going to be fairly aggressive. You know, like we got one mana 3-3 three, three in Hero Chip. We just have a lot of good bodies and like things that maybe our opponent doesn't want to kill like blue sentinel and endless devout like they're pretty good size for their mana cost and they have good last breath abilities for us we also have decent removal the right of the arcane but then the top end like you know ziggs attacks for a lot of damage earth elemental attacks for a ton of damage attacking for six overwhelm like this is ruin runner at four just don't have spell shield you know like this thing is huge and then you know we have ground slam which is a really good interaction Herald of the Mages giving both Malphite and Ziggs Overwhelm. That's really nice. And then, you know, of course, the Malphite at the top end, stunning everything. So this is going to be a deck that I think will sneak up on people. Like, they're going to be surprised how quickly we can kill them with a deck like this. So here we go. Let's give it a try. Malphite, Ziggs. We're going to go play five games in ranked. So yeah, the, the infinite spell shield with the arsenal will be fixed. But even after fixing that, I think people are going to realize, whoa, this card is absurd all right so we're gonna get rid of these two should i keep what do y'all think should we keep this right of the arcane because the right of the arcane can kill senna and vagar maybe we should because it does kill both champions yeah i guess maybe we should we don't really have a landmark necessarily to kill yet um the problem playing chip is go hard right i play chip they play go hard that's pretty brutal we'd lose out on our three three Please don't have it. Please don't have it. Please don't have it. Please pass. 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 Well, okay. Okay. Did say I wanted to see the world. We'll take it. Which I guess now they could go Vile Feast before. Alright, cool. Alright, everything works out. Looks like they're trying to prank me. I don't imagine they have too many of these like small units that they don't mind dying. I guess they do have a decent amount. Mark of the Isles is the spell they created. So this doesn't just grow for every single unit they slay. It has to be slayed with a spell, specifically. I guess Roiling Sands. Just so I can draw a card. I kind of really want to draw a card. Karandros with the donation deck. Yeah, yeah, destroyer of worlds this, destroyer of worlds that. Man, these pranks. I need, you know, I need this to happen. Um. Um, uh, but I'm sorry, Karandris, I won't be playing it today. I don't, I don't do the donation decks the same day. Uh, because I already have, like, the schedule set up and, and the thumbnails make them and, and stuff like that. We could play it 
but you can choose you can choose the day though like thursday saturday sunday those would be the best days do you have a, a preference on one of those three days The 1 1 trade with Rock Hopper. It gets plus 2 plus 1 for every spell kill. Don't you look a sight. Mordecai, check YouTube. Poppy and Poros, we we played a couple days ago. It's up on YouTube. It's a good thing you're cute, Vegs. All right, I guess I'm gonna destroy Mana Gem. Who do I do? I have to kill Vegar or do I kill Senna? I guess Senna has the vulnerable that can try to challenge the Senna. So maybe we kill Vegar. Oh, you get this whenever you destroy also. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so destroy an ally landmark. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Yes, yeah, so we still get the 5-3. The right, that's one of the new ones that say when destroyed also. That thing's fast speed, deal four. Concentrated forgiveness. Still just trades with a two one. So I still get one damage on the Senna, so now my ground slam should be able to kill the Senna. And we haven't seen a champion yet. My opponents play two champions. We have not drawn one yet. And we've drawn one more card than my opponent. There we go. See, I had to say that. And now we get Malphite. And Malphite's leveled up. The elements bind the living and the dead. Or to an enemy. Life is cyclical. Darkness ends. <laughs> bury fear, bury doubt. Out of my way. Okay, so they healed their Nexus up quite a bit, but now we got Mount Fight. Yeah, I still found the yeah the Victor deck fun even with the current bug. But yeah, that we did miss out on um, a couple. Oh man, I I really need that card advantage something like that. We did miss out on a couple keywords with Victor, which was really unfortunate. Stop so right now, this is attack for sixteen. Not enough to kill them after they heal their Nexus so much. I guess I should have played the Malphite last round instead of this Herald so that they wouldn't have that ability to attack with that thing. Zach with the tier one sub. Thank you, Zach. Thanks for that support. I appreciate that. You are amazing. Thank you. Oh, it was 17, not right. That thing's nine.
Hm. So this is just, uh, never mind, this is lethal. Yeah. So basically these things strike, gr grant this extra damage, then does six, and they just target my nexus, and then round start, create another one, target the nexus. Those darkness decks are good. Those decks are good. Action Sever. Alright, so before the mouth, or before the Merciless Hunter and Ruin Runner nerfs. I don't know. Maybe we'll keep one Earth Elemental. It's a slow hand. Yeah, Jack, the person who made the deck, says the match is in our favor, but yeah, we didn't have. Um, you know, between. Preservarium is important for that matchup, so between our, our three most important cards, both champions and the Preservarium, we had one of the nine copies through most of the deck. You know, like half the deck. Three threes block two ones. The last time, last I checked. They do a good job of that. Either skip or blue sentinel. I do not break rules. I bend them slightly. Follow me. Take it fair and square. Um, Shivana is up. Shivana is up on the YouTube channel for the for the labs watch that one um there's definitely different options you can go with with shivana i think i i think yeah the one that i did i went with um little buddies looks like i'm going with ground slam yeah you could definitely go evolution i was doing a decent amount of evolution already and didn't go with that so I could use shapestone shapestone saves endless devout but it'll still have vulnerable do I cast shapestone like oh it doesn't save it never mind never mind never mind I was never mind it doesn't save it so it's definitely not cast I math wrong <laughs> math wrong Ziggs, finally! I guess it's Ziggs over Earth Elemental. That's why I wasn't, I wasn't sure about Ziggs or Earth Elemental. The reason why I want to play Ziggs is the deal 2 damage for each one of these. To their Nexus. We got some we got some big guns. They have some waking sands. They have a lot of waking sands. So they go waking sands, waking sands. I mean I guess this is just my best play is just playing a Malphite. 
Next round we get to go double earth elemental. I guess I can't go double and stun. I know what I'm worth. Gross. Business as usual. Right of the arcane. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I get to do these three. Come on. Oh man, that is so good. I'm a woman of principle. Mine is pay and get paid. Yeah, they got this. Yeah, they definitely have this. Just treasure seeker is insane. Like all they they have this because of all these waking sands. Right? Like they get free wake they can get uh, burst speed waking sands with that. Oh, which they are not choosing to. That's what I would do if I were them. I would just play a waking sands and then I, if I attack, they get burst speed. Or wait, no, 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 because that's that's just a focus card. Oh, and that only takes the spell shield. Oh wait, this isn't so good. Wow, we are dead. What should I mulligan if I play Jarvan Shen versus Kate Timo? You want the lowest curve possible because you're gonna because they're gonna have you draw a lot of cards. You don't want anything that's expensive. You keep Shen, nothing else that's I guess the, you could also keep Besides Shen, you could keep um the lifesteal barrier card. I guess, because, you know, like, lifesteal is going to be really important. Besides that, you're mulligan and everything else. Alright, I think I'm... Pass. I don't really want to play the Earth Elemental and then play, like, Cataclysm. Like, I want to keep Ride Negation available. That was a great ground slam for us. Oh! Oh, I had to play the Blue Sentinel! Oh, because then I don't get to... I was, I was just thinking the four mana for Ride Negation. Oh, I need to play Blue Sentinel. Echo, echo, echo. Man, I, I need to play that instead of the Endless De Devout, because now I don't have Ride Negation. Or whatever that spell is, it's going to be devastating. Why do I make any those kind of mistakes? All right, I'll still do. They didn't have any devastating spell. All right, good. It, is a good day to be it really is. That was a great win. My opponent's hand was amazing, and that was Action Siver, a deck that's amazing. And they had they had a great hand. That was a wonderful win. Sharp Sight's really good against Teemo. Gives you, like, the... It helps you survive um, against, like, Mystic Shot. It allows you to block Teemo, and it can also be good against, you know, Frostbite. So that kind of card's great. Like, Sharp Sight's awesome. Zareth Zillion. So our goal is to kill them before the arsenal. Because that card, the arsenal, is really scary.
All right, we're both hopping rocks. But Chip gonna be Chip. I guess we kill that thing. Give them some vulnerable. Yeah, I think this is what it's gonna. I think that's what's probably gonna come down to is the arsenal v malphite. I mean, maybe we can block the arsenal of malphite, and maybe it'll be elusive. Who knows? Alright, there's Malphite. So if I block with Blue Sentinel, we get to play Malphite next round. <clears throat> and I think that's what I want to do. I don't have any additional mana to make Malphite better, you know, be able to use the Unstoppable Force. So that thing's going to be vulnerable. I got my 2-2 two -two challenge to the 3-1. My 3-2 can challenge the 5-3. Malphite could challenge the 1-4. Malphite's really cool. Rude. Alright, so my plan of maybe challenging the 1 forward isn't going to work. You're at 3 out of 4. I feel like I have to kill Zillion here and keep it from leveling up. No, obviously the Xerath is a problem as well. I guess if I challenge Zillion next round, it's not that big of a deal if it levels up. So I really hope they don't have the one card that is the burst speed destroy a landmark to be able to stun. Really hope we can just challenge Zillion here and kill Zillion. But then again, if they have a second Zillion, we're in a lot of trouble. We could play. I'm gonna play two Devouts and then stun everything. That'd be me at and also cast the shape stone. So I guess I could go for lethal that way. If they have arsenal with infi spell shield, well, we can never stun it and they just kind of win. Maybe they don't have anything with the with that three mana. No, they do. I 
All right, hit him for three or challenge the three one. Hit him for three. Their board is a lot more full than mine is. They could, of course, do that challenge this next time, but... Alright, so unfortunately they did have the stun and they had the backup zillion. So that was the worst combination with those... with that three mana. Ziggs! Ziggs, man, I need you earlier. I've blown up... 10 landmarks. Imagine if, like, this was in play after the first 4. That's 6 times 2. That's 12 nexus damage. That we could have had. Perfect card. Oh, only does four to a unit. Yeah, we really haven't drawn Ziggs hardly at all, right? This is only our, only our second time to draw Ziggs in three games. My opponents are drawing tons of champions, though. Us, not so much, but my opponents in these games. They've had a lot. Alright, that was good. So right now, they have an extra copy of Pokestick. Unraveled Earth, Zareth, and Preservarium. Those are the four cards. Okay, they actually they just show you the cards. Could attack out. I don't know if attack out's like the best plan though. I don't know if just like maybe just play Earth Elemental. Attack out gives them like the opportunity to stunts, but it's going to stun the thing that's like easy to block anyway. Like Earth Elemental isn't easy to block as the Overwhelm. It's okay, I'm not going anywhere. I feel like why not just play like Earth Elemental, Endless Devout, and then Unstoppable Force. I guess Xerath is a problem. Five, six, seven, eight. So it does eight, puts him down to one. And so we need Zareth to survive. Or sorry, sorry, Ziggs. We need Ziggs to survive. I gotta play smaller units than Ziggs to help Ziggs survive. Oh, right. The Malphite can take some damage for us. Yes. So yeah, the, the plan is have Ziggs survive and have this landmark kill them. What? They don't understand that Ziggs is going to kill them. They don't understand what's going to happen here. They're... They're dead. D-E-D -E dead. They did not understand the game. We destroyed 10 landmarks that game. 11, yeah, we destroyed 11 landmarks that game. We could definitely have, oh, the arsenal's in a different region. Never mind, you have to play Bandle City. Never mind. I was gonna say they would fit in here as well, but. I mean, Devout's a good blocker, but we need earlier stuff. Ugh. I like Ground Slam a whole lot against Poppy and Lulu. 
you're adding another mages to the deck to help Malphite finish games. You can play that over the six mana card. You can play, just play three mages and not play the six mana card. Stonebreaker. Yeah, giving Ziggs Overwhelm, that's definitely really important. Just hadn't seen very many Ziggs. So the six cards over there, we know one's the Tiny Shield slash Tiny Spear. We know two are cards they made with the Loping Telescope, unless... Yeah, no, yeah, Bandle, Bandle City Mayor created that Loping Telescope. Attack with the mayor. Come on, attack with the mayor. Alright, let's see. So I'm I'm thinking about playing the Earth Elemental. But having if I do that, have Blue Sentinel challenge with the Loping Telescope. Double stun. Alright, never mind. We're gonna go I guess devout and preparations. Yeah. Right of the Arcane, please. So I got two blockers. Swing low, send them sky high. I'll make you proud. All right, we gotta kill this poppy. Good, good. Gonna pay for that. Getting rid of my zigs. Oh man. Oh, I don't even have 10 mana anyway for Malphite level up. 10 mana of landmark. But there we go. We're in. We'll take the win. A three and one. Malphite zigs looking good. All right, we got a really Azir. People trying to get their decks in before the nerfs happen. I'm thinking about keeping all of this. It's just it's a decent two, three, four curve, and then we can like Preservarium on five to help find you know, hope the card draw continue on. 
Oh yeah, this is the reason to play Desert Naturalist. Is blowing up their landmark. We do not have any Desert Naturalists ourselves. This wasn't what I was hoping for after keeping the 2-3-4, you know, like having these two cards. That wasn't exactly what I was hoping for. That's a healthy attack. Five damage. This is not a good Unraveled Earth matchup. Usually these these roiling sands just eat up like sand soldiers and stuff like that. Like it's not a good matchup for them. You are these blades that they would just blade dance. of defense against this deck. Passing and not attacking? I don't know. Those... Okay, they're going to do that. Yeah. This setup of, you know, like the blade dance of these two things is going to be pretty tough to win. Good deck opponent. Good game. Good game. Unless we draw something that I don't think is in the deck. No, because then this is just leveled up. Looking for a ground slam or ride of the arcane there. Would not be a good attack. They're making two sand soldiers. That's better. We were born in the first land, and we will defend them until the end. I didn't do that with the. I mean, I take one more damage. They could have done with the Sand Soldier and kept their 2 1 alive. Mm, but yeah. Yep. Good game. Alright, there we go. We'll still take a winning record there with Malphite Ziggs. You know, ran into Aurelia Azir. That deck's very good. Um, that we can make that matchup a little better, but that is going to be just a deck in general that holds Malphite back because it's just so aggressive and so fast and it goes so wide so fast. Uh, to make that matchup a little better, probably would want to play Desert Naturalist. 
to help be able to blow up their landmark, but still you're looking at the two champions, both Aurelia and Azir. They're difficult to deal with, and they're, you know, there's some things you can play like quicksands and hush and all sorts of stuff, but that, that's going to be a really tough matchup. But besides that, I was very impressed with our deck. We even, like, so we had a winning record here in ranked, and we didn't really even have, like, a real cool Ziggs hand. Because, like, if you can have, like, Ziggs, curving out with Ziggs on three, playing a whole bunch of other landmarks, leveling up Ziggs by, like, round five, and having Harold give your Ziggs plus two plus two, um, you can really kill people incredibly fast and make Ziggs really large. Because then we're talking about seven health for our three mana champion with overwhelm that's also that's attacking for 10 you know it's a you know attack for 10 seven health overwhelm that can be really really good and we didn't get to even really pull that off so we didn't even get to show that off yet we were still winning even though we weren't doing the very best thing that our deck can do so that's that's uh, a good sign i liked how malphite looked the unstoppable forces were very good at finishing out games, and it's just so hard to kill with all this health and the tough. I liked how that looked. Um, and so we're, as far as getting another Herald in the deck, obviously that last game wasn't really a Herald game, but other games that were. If we want to show off Herald more, um, you know, maybe the Stonebreaker is a spot. Like that could be a card that could turn into a Herald if you do want an additional Herald in the deck. Or if you want the Desert Naturalist, that Stonebreaker could turn into a Desert Naturalist also. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it here, though, for Malphite Ziggs. Winning record, we'll take it. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments about the deck. If you're looking for a Malphite deck, give this one a try. This one definitely felt solid. Just like Malphite, pretty solid. <laughs> so, yeah, give it a try and let me know how it goes for you over on YouTube. But anyway, that's going to be it here, though, for Malphite Ziggs. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.